welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a new episode of today's Youth. And today, we're delighted to be joined by Sally Islam. She's a graduate of uh, Cairo University. She studied political science and uh, economics, and she will tell us uh, more about her uh, career and her education and her um, desire and uh, dreams for the future. Thank you very much for joining us, Sally. Thank you, my darling. Uh, Sally, tell me, uh, you graduated from Cairo University, you studied uh, economics and political science, uh, and then uh, you uh, pursued your career in uh, the uh, education field. Yeah. Uh, tell course. me why is this, this is uh, considered a career shift from political science and economics to uh, education and teaching. Tell me, uh, why did you make this uh, career shift? Okay, uh, first of all, my great pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Our pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, about my, my, my changing the career here, I want to say something. This is my desire, and this is from my childhood. I want to be a teacher like my father. Uh, <laughs> So when I studied political science, uh, it's a it's a very fantastic field. I know that, but my my desire was um, from my childhood till now to deliver the information or um, teach someone. So because of my father, I saw my father uh, from uh, from the beginning as a teacher. Uh, he is a, phys a physical teacher, okay, but um, physics, physics teacher, uh, sorry. Physics teacher. Uh, yeah, physics teacher. And um, the, uh, so um, my desire is to teach someone. So when I graduate from Faculty of Economics and Political Science, I follow this, uh, this uh, way and this road that to teach someone. And what about English? <laughs> my English um, or the field of English is like talent to to to, um, to act like someone to act some like someone. My childhood was uh, was in Oman, Sultanate of Oman. This is a country. That, uh, so the uh, the uh, the teacher there was Indian people. Indian uh, teachers, so they are teaching uh, us by English all the time. There's no Arabic, all the subject. So I want to be like them. So from this way, from this from this point, I start to follow my desire, to follow my path, uh, to be a teacher for foreign language uh, like English. Right. Uh, so you teach English in, in several places, uh, Sally. You told me uh, you teach graduates uh, more than undergraduates, right? Yeah. Uh, tell me uh, more about your uh, working career in the field of teaching. Yeah, um, this is uh, this is true. I I uh, I have a passion to to teach or to deliver information to all the the the, uh, the people that I can. So for for kids, for adults, for for more, maybe for the old old people. So this is a desire. This is this is what I want. This is what I want. This is my goal in in the in my life. So I teach kids. Um, I think from uh, five years ago. Okay, um, I teach them how to uh, to increase your English, how to develop, sorry, your English, how to you increase your character to be a good personality in, in uh, to, to have a, a good personality in the society, um, and how to abstract any challenge that uh, in front of you. I teach them the STEM, you know, STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and the way of solving the problems that they can uh, face in the society. Um, uh, Pedica, from Pedica way of thinking, Pedica, this is a way of thinking. So I, I help the kids to uh, solve this, these, uh, these problems or the problems that they, they can face in the society by planning and then acting and then check the, the, the uh, solution that they have, then do the solution which is, with this, which is more suitable to the problem without making any fault or without making any mistake. Right. Uh, tell me, Sally, uh, do you, did you take any uh, training or any, I mean, uh, training courses to be a teacher? I mean, you studied economics and political science, but you moved on to work in uh, education and teaching. So did you take any training courses uh, to be a teacher? Mm, no, not to be a teacher, but in my English. I, I took some courses in English, but not to be a teacher because teaching is a talent uh, inside me. Yeah. <laughs> because my you father. You know how to uh, deliver the uh, message or deliver information to the students. Yes, because this is my my my, my passion. There, I want it's your to passion. deliver. Yeah, it's my passion. I want to deliver information. I want to put something in the mind of people. I want to change their mindsets. I want to to let them be be good. When I I I I, uh, I touch the success uh, in them, I I can feel. Like I'm very happy. I do something. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, let's go to the short break, and we'll be right back.
Welcome back. And uh, still with uh, Sally, uh, tell me, uh, how do you see uh, your assessment uh, uh, to youth as uh, people who can transform their knowledge to others? I mean, they, they, you give them the knowledge, and they can transform this knowledge to their peer groups. How far is this? Uh, how far did you see this in, in reality? Yes, I can see it very well uh, because youth, I, I believe in their capabilities. I believe in, in, in their power. They can do whatever they want because they have a good mindset. If you teach them well, they have good mindset. They have health. They, they have whatever they, 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 they can um, deliver to society. Okay, and they, they have the, the, the old and the years and the health and the, 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 the knowledge, everything. I believe in them. So, uh, so if you teach them well, if you put some knowledge, some good knowledge in their minds, if you teach them uh, good mindset, good anti, uh, uh, attitudes and so on, they can be good, um, good element, good element and successful element and a very important element to change our society. Mm -hmm. You know, this time we are, we are talking about the green energy and all the world are talking about the green energy. So uh, we, can, we can use the youth to change to to change and to change the world and to uh, to make a difference in this in this point because they can do whatever they want because they have all the things that the all the elements that they have right uh, I'll take it from you Sally from this point and uh, uh, tell me uh, how do you assess the uh, government the Egyptian government and the Egyptian uh, leadership uh, great attention to the youth a lot uh, is being done to the youth we've seen um, the presidential leadership program and we've seen a lot of youth conferences international youth conferences to empower youth uh, how do you see the significance of the state's uh, uh, attention in empowering youth of course, I can see the president here, uh, the president of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Sisi, is doing a lot of effort, or the most effort can I see from all the president, uh, presidents can uh, we see uh, to uh, to empower youth because he's believing a lot, a lot, and the um, the power of youth and how can they change the society or the country and they, how, how can they increase the economy, the green economy in our country because in this where in this time the world. Is is, is changing about uh, to uh, the green economy and the green source because the environment and the change in the envi environment increase and many many sub uh, uh, crises uh, happen because uh, changes of, of our industry and the environment uh, because of this we are transferring to the uh, green ener uh, energy Be uh, because of this Abdel Fattah, uh, our president Abdel Fattah is increasing increasing also the rule uh, or uh, empowerment of youth because he is believing a lot and a lot in the youth right we have some photos for you here if you would like to uh, comment on yes uh, yes, uh, this is my lecture to Sudanese people. Uh, this is uh, some um, uh, some group uh, group come from Sudan to teach them uh, media and uh, how can use media to influence the people and uh, teach the people uh, people and deliver the information to the people to let them uh, um, make some changes in the society. Right. And uh, next, uh, this is for aviation. Yeah, I teach them in this in this uh, place um, specific English for aviation. I teach them the uh, terms or uh, terminology uh, that uh, related to this field. Right. Next, please. This is in a school. Yeah, I teach them English because I told you that I can teach to to, to kids or uh, and adults too. I teach them English and it's a language school. Uh, here in the conference. Uh, I talk about uh, the, um, the youth also and how can they, they change the society and how can they uh, be anti, uh, anti any um, incorrect ideas come to the people. How can they, they, uh, they, uh, they, they, um, they face it? How can they change it? How can they, they make an influence um, uh, uh, sentences to the people to change their mindset? And next please. Welcome back and uh, still with my guest uh, Sally Islam. Uh, Sally, we were talking about uh, empowering youth and the role of the state in uh, giving uh, uh, this uh, sort of attention and uh, empowering uh, the Egyptian youth here in Egypt. We've seen a lot being done 
uh, to the youth uh, by the Egyptian president and the Egyptian government. So uh, how do you assess the role of uh, the youth towards their governments? Of course, youth should take the whole responsibility of, uh, uh, of all the government gov uh, put in their shoulders to achieve many, many things and to ch achieve the change in the society. Because we, we, we can believe in it more than, um, more than any, anyone else or any, uh, any category else. Because this, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, years of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the people they can do whatever they want uh, according to the capabilities so the government can believe in you the president can believe in you anyone can believe in you so you you should take the whole responsibility to uh, to achieve uh, to a change to make a change in this in your society to make a change in your village to your to make a change in, in whole the country uh, in the economy in political uh, in politics you can share the uh, the uh, the decisions you can make you can be a decision maker. You can you can take the uh, you can participate in decision making. You can uh, teach the kids. You can uh, you can you you can do whatever the society or your village want from you. You can you can achieve whatever you want. So you have to be uh, in uh, in this responsibility of the country that uh, do to you. Right. Uh, well, uh, the International Youth Day was celebrated on August 13 this month. So uh, tell me, how do you see the significance of this year uh, to the youth? Um, I can see uh, it's like a sign and uh, a key for the youth and their role in the society, in the country, in the whole the environment. You can do whatever you want. I can, we can believe in you. You are the most important uh, uh, people in the society, uh, in our country, in our planet at all. You can make the change that we want, that we, we, we want right now. Really, we, we, we want change right now, and we, no one can make this change uh, better than you. You are, you are the gender that can make, make uh, this change that uh, we want. Mm -hmm. That's it. I can see it like a sign. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, you, you spoke about the role of youth in transferring knowledge to others and the significance of this role. Uh, did you see ever a, a difference between the, the uh, gender when, when it comes to gender, males and females? Is there any difference in the capability of uh, transferring knowledge to others? Um, according to the, uh, the knowledge that we can teach to them and according to the mindset, their mindset and according to their attitudes, nothing different between uh, fe male and female. Uh, both of them has to believe in themselves. Uh, they, they, they know themselves very well and they, they know what can they deliver and what can they give to the society. Even they have any obstacles, especially for female, they can come over uh, these obstacles and can achieve that with what they want right. because they can. Right. When talking about uh, youth empowerment, uh, we cannot uh, neglect talking about female empowerment and women empowerment. How far do you think females have achieved uh, her rights, uh, not only in Egypt, uh, uh, worldwide? Uh, yes. Um, I can see females like flowers, okay, and uh, they can make uh, the good vibes to all the, the planet that we, we, we live in. But uh, especially in, in this period or in these years, I think uh, females are achieving a lot and a lot in their rights. They can share the, uh, the political decisions. They can increase the economy. They can take uh, parts in the economy decision and they can increase it. And uh, we have many, many examples, um, many examples in different countries that the female can be or can achieve uh, a place in a decision making. And this is so, uh, so different from years ago because mm -hmm. males, I think male are taking the, the, the whole uh, places that they can uh, make something different and make the whole uh, different in this society but female can do it can over can come over the abstracts can achieve what they want because they can right uh, Sally we're gonna go to this short break and we'll be right back welcome back uh, Sally uh, do you think youth around the world have the same common challenges and the same dreams 
recently they have uh, all the abstracts the same uh, in many countries because they can find themselves that they want they want to uh, prove themselves they want to uh, to achieve a place or find a place for themselves because they can do whatever they want but mm, not many not all of the people can believe in their capabilities and uh, also in some countries we can find some conflicts and these um, these conflicts come like up strikes uh, upon the, uh, the these youth because they can't achieve uh, their path or the the, the, the road to uh, to make the changes in the society or the country and they uh, that they have Right, uh, and in Egypt, uh, what do you th think are the main common uh, challenges uh, facing youth? Me? Or the, the, the sorry, you mean the youth? You and, uh, I mean, uh, other youth. Yes, okay. Um, I think the abstract that they, they all, I think all, all the, the youth uh, uh, find that they, um, they want to prove themselves, like I, I told you, that they want to make this challenge um, take this challenge and uh, prove themselves and take the pl place of themselves in the society. In, the, in Egypt, um, we, um, we make a lot of effort, but we can do. I think the, yani, maybe uh, the abstracts may, may, may become uh, less than other countries because here in Egypt, uh, there, is, there is peace, uh, there is no conflict. Uh, something, so, something is going um, smoothly to the uh, to the youth, so we we can do whatever we want because there is no problems. But uh, a lot of problems come from people, other people. They can believe in us or not. Mm -hmm. They can uh, give us the chance to improve them uh, yourself or not. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right, uh, Sally, you told me you taught kids and the grown-ups, uh, adults. Uh, tell me what's the difference. What's uh, easier? Uh, easier. <laughs> um, I think the the, uh, the kids have the uh, the way of teaching, and adults also has a way of teaching. Okay, um, in the kids uh, in in this in this uh, category or in this uh, in this uh, ages, we have to follow <coughs> the way that can make the the kids um, love you more than more than take the tea, uh, may, uh, more than take the source from you or the knowledge from you even the kids um, even the kids um, uh, love you or not this will depend on the, the the taking or receiving the information first of all the kids should uh, love you and then take the information from you this is the the first point and then you can you can make the change in, in them you can uh, deliver the information that you want you can make make everything so, so you start with kids by establishing rapport between you and yes. the kids to be a friendly to be, to be to, friendly to be friends and, and we can play together we can share everything together we can do whatever uh, if you achieve the, the that they will start learning yes yeah yes, of course but adults the things are different okay adults um, should uh, believe in you should credibility uh, yeah they, and they want to they want you to be a teacher right the, the the right meaning of a teacher that you can deliver not only information good character to him or to her you can you can lead them you mm -hmm. can let the, the these people be leaders leaders mm -hmm. of our society leaders of the country whatever the the dream that they have but he mm -hmm. will be leader mm -hmm. that's it he can he can believe in you according to this Right, well, uh, definitely throughout your years of education and career, you faced a lot of obstacles. Tell me how do you uh, overcome obstacles and uh, tell me more about persistence and perseverance to achieve your goals. Um, it's a long time, but I can, uh, I can summarize them. Uh, by um, I have uh, toured it in my time, in my time management. I can't, I can't um, give a lot of time. To, I, I can't manage my time to all the fields that I want, I'm a mother too, and um, I, I, w I should uh, teach to my kids, I, can't, I, I should uh, go to, the, to, to, this, to this place to uh, teach the people there, I, I, I have to do whatever, one, two, three, four, so I take time management course, like not that course, but I read about it in the uh, internet, I read about it, how can I manage my time, okay, and um, according also another abstract, which is um, how can I, uh, I let the people believe in me, uh, there's also another abstract many many uh, places uh, 
I can, we, we can see uh, like a, we can see all of the things that you you are talking about. Show me, and then I show them how can I deliver information. I uh, maybe I, I give the course for uh, for free. I want to improve myself. I want I want to say that I'm here. I can do what I want. You you should believe in me, but give me the chance. That's it. Right. Well, I would like to thank you very much for joining us, uh, Sally Islam. Uh, uh, many thanks for uh, uh, visiting us today and being with us uh, in our program. My great pleasure. Thank you. Right. Dear viewers, that brings us to the end of this edition of today's Youth. Many thanks for watching and don't forget to join us next week, same time. Till then, it's goodbye.